Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these Christmas balls. So let's get started. For this demo, I'm going to use these three colors. You can use any colors that you like and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And as my center, I'm going to use a styrofoam ball, but if you don't have a styrofoam ball, you can make your own. I just cut a piece of this t-shirt, just cut it into a square, and then I just took some sheets of newspaper flyer, and I crumbled them one at a time. So first crumble up one, place it in the center, and wrap it up around another, and do that again. You can compress it to shape it into a ball, and then take something soft like a sheet of paper towel, and wrap it in that. and then enclose it in my t-shirt knit. Now I just tied a piece of yarn around the top. Pull all this up nice and snug. And then you can just cut off this top. And you could just put some glue down there to make sure it stays intact. But once it's inside the ball, it's, not, it's going to be fine. So then you can kind of reshape it. Just trim those off. So you can either use a styrofoam ball, make your own ball, or you could just stuff it with fiber fill. Now start with red, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Now I'm going to carry this yarn end along the outside of the ring and then I'll be able to close the hole. So I'm going to chain two. One, two. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it through the stitch or the center of the ring, pull up a yarn, now pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make 11 double crochet in the ring and that chain two will count as one so that will be the equivalent of 12 double crochet in the ring. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay I've gone ahead and I've made my 11 double crochet and at the end of the row I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Now I can pull that yarn end and close up that hole. So now I'm going to chain two and turn. And this will be two. And I'm going to make one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next. At the end of the row, I'm going to have 18 stitches. So one double crochet, two double crochet, so one and two. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, one, two. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And I'm going to fasten off that color and I'm going to attach white. So in that same stitch where I fastened off, pull the yarn through and just lock it in with that one stitch and I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch and in the next stitch and instead of going in that natural hole I'm going to go down between the two double crochets and then single crochet in the natural hole and then again down in between the double crochets I'm going to repeat across the row single crochet in the stitch single crochet below the stitch, single crochet in the stitch, single crochet below the stitch. I'm going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. And I'm going to fasten off. And that's how it'll fit on the ball. Now I'm going to attach purple. In the fasten off stitch, pull the purple through, just lock it in. I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitched to join and I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to leave a long yarn end and I'll use that yarn end to sew 
these two halves together. So that's one half of my ball. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another section just like this. Okay, I have both of my little sections made and I threaded my yarn end into a yarn needle. And I'm just going to bring these two together and I'm going to start sewing these across. Okay, and when I get halfway across, I'm going to stop. I'm going to place my ball inside and then I'm just going to continue to sew this across. Okay, I've gone all the way around and now I'm just going to weave my yarn end into the finished work. And for this one I made it all in white. So you can make them any solid color. I attached a little bow at the top and a ribbon for hanging. And along the bottom another little ruffled bow and just four extra strands of ribbon hanging down. And there you go. There's some easy Christmas balls to crochet for your Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.